ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಟು ಆಫ್ ಕಿಷ್ಕಿಂದ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವೀಸಾ ವಾನರ್ ಆಸ್ ಸುವರ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀತಾ ದ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎ ಕೇವ್ ವೇ ದೇ ಸಾ ದ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಷನ್ and they saw an old ascetic sitting there and then they inquired with her regarding the wonder of the place and then she explained her name is Swayam Prabha and her friend's name was Hema who was loved by a great asura known as Maya Asura who was a great magician who was capable of constructing all this thing but then later he was slayed by Indra and the god grandfather of the world the brahma bestowed that entire mansion to hema who in turn while before going to the heaven handed it over to same prabha and she is taking care of the whole mansion that virtuous ascetic greatly mystified addressed all those leaders of monkeys who were now rested after having the fruits and drinks saying o monkeys if satisfied by the fruits your fatigue is alleviated i would fain listen i would love to listen to your story if it is fit to be heard by me <laughs> hearing these words hanuman the son of maruta began to relate all the perfect candor saying the sovereign of the whole world rama who is equal to mahendra and varuna illustrious son of dasharatha retired to the dandaka forest in company with his brother lakshmana and his consort vaidehi the latter was forcibly that vaidehi was carried away by ravana forcefully his friend is that valiant monkey named sugriva by that monarch the foremost of monkeys we have been sent here and with the assistance of those led by angada we have been dispatched to search the southern region inhabited by agastya and protected by yama we have been commissioned to search for sita the daughter of videha and the demon ravana who is able to change his form at will having scoured the forests and the seas of the south overcome with hunger we sat down at the foot of the trees our faces drained of color absorbed in thought we were sunk in an ocean of anxiety which we were unable to cross casting our eyes round we observed a huge cave hidden by trees and creepers and enveloped in gloom now swans geese and osprey flew out from that cave their wings dripping with water and i said to these madhus monkeys let us enter here which all agreed to do anxious to accomplish our purpose we went in grasp casping each other's hands thus forcing an entry into this dark cave this is our purpose and the reason why we have come here having come here famished and exhausted we who were sorely tried by hunger have been entertained on fruits and roots with your traditional hospitality you have saved us who were weary and suffering from starvation now please see what service the monkeys may render you in return thus addressed by the apes the all knowing swayam prabha replied to those monkey leaders saying i am well pleased with all these excellent monkeys i am but fulfilling my duty and have no need of anything thus address others answered in words filled with nobility and virtue hanuman addressed that irreproachable lady saying we have all found refuge with you o virtuous ascetic but the time fixed by the magnanimous sugriva has run out 
since we entered the cave. It behoves you, therefore, to assist us to leave this place. If the commands of Sugriva be disregarded, we will mean death. That will mean death for all of us. Please deliver us all. The fear of Sugriva afflicts us. Great is the rest that has been undertaken by us, and if we remain here, that work of ours will not be accomplished. Thus addressed by Hanuman, the ascetic answered him, saying, For a living being to emerge from this cave alive is hard, but by the power of my asceticism required through self-control, I shall deliver all the monkeys from this subterranean chamber. Do you all close your eyes, for none will succeed in issuing, that means in escaping from this place, if their eyes remain open. Then desirous of going out, all those magnanimous monkeys instantly close their eyes, covering them with their hands, possessed of slender fingers, and in the twinkling of an eye, the ascetic transported them outside the cave, and having saved them from danger in order to encourage them, she said, This is the auspicious Vindhya mountain covered with trees and herbs, there the Prasravana mountain and the great ocean. Remember, this is the, one of the mountain range in the southern region, probably the Mahendragiri region, which is also considered as Vindhya being south of, to the south of the Vindhya. And this is nearer to the seashore. And the great ocean, may good fortune attend you. I go to my abode, O foremost of monkeys. With these words, Swayam Prabha re-entered the cave. Thus ended chapter 52 of Kishkin Dakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmira Puravasini Tomaham Prathaye Nityam Vidya Dhananchadehime. Goodbye.